Was there anything like um, an interview session, like before the admission, before you got the admission notification? Was there any interview? Because I know some schools they organize that. So after yeah, the some schools. Process, the next level would be okay. The candidate that they shortlist, they would have an interview with them, and sometimes they won't invite them to come over to the school. Like you fly from your home country to mm -hmm. the school. Other times they might organize the interview via Skype or something. Was this applicable? Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. But I had another program that required that, although I didn't scale through the first stage. So, but this particular one didn't require that. Yeah. You know, but I know as time goes on, definitely it will become highly competitive because yeah. it's a very new field and it's growing as fast as as we can as, as we can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that that's, that's nice. Really, that's nice. And you like the subject so far? Yeah, of course. I like it. I like it. It's, it's been interesting. Just that the, the corona came and uh, and uh, destabilized the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the experiments, laboratory, practicals you we were supposed to have, conferences, you know, all those things, seminars, talks would have gone. None yeah. of that, none of that happened, you know. Yeah. So you just have to work, work on yourself, and still we move on. <laughs> no, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And is it tuition fee, or do you guys pay tuition? The normal, uh, what we pay? How much do we even pay? The semester uh, contribution. The normal semester fee, yeah. Okay. Normal semester. It's not like in Baden Württemberg where they pay one one thousand five or something. five hundred. Yeah. Is that per semester or per month? No, that's per semester. Yeah. Per semester. Yeah. Per semester. Per month would be crazy. No one even pays. <laughs> <laughs> that's so much salary, you know. <laughs> per month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the most expensive. Yeah. Ah man. Ah. So that's how it's been and. Uh, my my plans now is to move smoothly into the full time job like you guys. That's just my plans now, so that it won't be that stressful. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I think you're you're already on the right track, really, because yeah. you're beginning to have experience now with applying to jobs, interviews, and so on. And who knows? Maybe once your thesis is ready and you're through with your master's and will land your first job. Because sometimes that's also another kind of hindrance, you know, because, okay, you're still studying, you have awaiting results, and there are other candidates who are through with their studies, you know, and don't have anything keeping them back. Uh, in some other cases, it depends, like, I think your field IT or medical technology, depending on the stage where you are, if they are working a lot on projects like that, then most companies there will be looking for people from that area. So you find out that even while you're still studying, they will take you. And sometimes they might even take you for you to do your thesis within the organization. You know? Yeah, that's that's what I'm right. but that's what I was I've been looking for. How I can uh, get a place where I can easily do my thesis because I know that definitely if you work with them, do your thesis, it's more easy, easier for them to retain you. Yeah. Especially I mean, once you are doing something that's really, really significant in the in their in their company. Mm -hmm. So it, it's easier for you to for them to retain you. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm really working on that as well. Mm -hmm. Really working on that. Already most of the interviews I got, sometimes I do try to chip that in to like <laughs> To like ask them if they actually do if there are opportunities for thesis work for students, mm -hmm. you know. So <clears throat> some of them will say actually they don't. Some will say definitely it might come up. So if it comes up, why not? I, even in my previous because this is my what where I'm working right now is the second uh, student job I've gotten. 
Okay. The very first one I got, uh, it was more IT related, all this programming. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm not really the strong type in programming. So I was just kind of learning on the job, okay. doing it, learning, growing. So my boss was kind of also understanding. He understood that as, as well. And was also impressed with the learning curve. So, mm -hmm. but I know that this is not where I'm going to build my career in. So there's no need for me staying back there. So I have to yeah. terminate the contract and look for somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, but actually we had already discussed on doing thesis and uh, if possible being retained there. It was actually a nice place. <laughs> but you didn't like it because it's not really what you want. I didn't, it was not really into the healthcare space. It was more of a, a environmental biotech, you get. Okay. So they are more related into agricultural products, you know, innovative agricultural products, process, agricultural sustainability. They are also into mining, you know, mm -hmm. providing mining solutions and all those things, which is actually not what I'm studying and my <laughs> my career I'm trying to build on. So yeah. I had to start looking for another place already. So such things are also very good because once you get such a place and you build a good reputation with your mm -hmm. colleagues and your team, yeah. Most likely, my, my boss was already telling me that, that Elvis, we can discuss uh, your thesis, who knows from there, you become one of us. Even there was one student, one previous former student that they just retained. He told me that as well, that look at this guy, he was a previous that was a good student. Place, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good, I really miss the man. I, I, I must say, he was a nice person. Yeah. He told me, look at this guy, he was a previous student like you, he did his thesis work here. And now we have hired him. It's now a full time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it was actually interesting. The only thing was, it wasn't really my line of what I was working towards. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had to look for somewhere else. And so, but hopefully, I, I'm really. I would love to do my thesis in a company because it will really help me to learn more uh, and also, you know, be really good take a deep dive into the yeah. field itself and just what I like about doing thesis in a company is that um so you build a lot on your theoretical knowledge and mm -hmm. then it's also related to daily application like you know bring it from from the classroom to application and then even to business you know lifestyle so to say so it's like okay all the things you've learned so far, how has it been used in solving problems daily? And more mm -hmm. and also, how are people making money from it? Because at the end of the day, you want to work and end from yeah. it. So it's like, okay, how do you convert all these things that you've been learning to, you know, to business? And then it's like, you already fit into the work system. You're familiar with the work system. Yeah. Fine. And all those things like um, probation period or COVID sites during the work time and stuff wouldn't even have to think so much about it. They might just do it for formality's sake, but I mean, you've been there already a long time, so um, they might skip it, they might not skip it, but you wouldn't feel like, okay, you're just studying and you have to learn this and you learn that, like already into the system. I mean, not to talk about the money you get paid during that whole period, so it's like so yeah, for, you. for you, yeah. Tell me about the, the medical, what's the name of the course you're studying? medical informatics medical informatics so yeah. just yeah like i know that like different um i used to have friends back then where i studied in lubeck who were also um bioinformaticians so also but really i haven't really understood i mean i understand it bit by bit but most times i always ask myself like okay where do you guys find yourself normally you know like we are, just give examples of the areas where your your services or okay so the the course is more is a very like you said it's is is a it's a very new field not actually so new but in germany it's actually growing yeah and the corona new. has made it to shine more you can call it medical informatics or digital health okay yeah which uh, is kind of not really similar to bioinformatics. Bioinformatics go more into the wet lab, 
you know, mm-hmm. trying to learn more about the genes, how to you can be able to study the genes using yeah. IT. We use IT, IT uh, innovations to study the genes and all those things, then create solutions for all these diseases and the like. Yeah, exactly. so mine is kind of different from that. We, we, our own is actually also very much wide. I can as well be like a project manager in a company. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are trained to do that. Maybe I'm managing a particular digitalization process in a hospital. We can do that. Okay. We can also as well work, go more detailed into the IT aspect itself. Okay. Talk more about uh, when you talk of uh, software development, you know, developing a, a healthcare tools or software that you can use in hospitals, pharmacies, labs, and the like. So yeah. you can go into that direction as well. You can also as well, like my myself now coming from the uh, medical diagnostic aspect um, mm-hmm. field, yeah. we have companies building solutions for that as well medical diagnostics, uh, like you have companies like Rush doing uh, great things in that aspect. So that's another field for me, for, for you two to specialize on. So they are quite, it's very, very much vast. So it all depends on your area of uh, specialization and where you want to see yourself tomorrow. You now focus more on that aspect. If it's IT, if it's uh, into business development, project management and the likes, if it's but, like but my, you you want to focus more on the medical diagnostics area, is that correct? Yeah, of course. That's that's naturally that's my background. So yeah, yeah. initially, when I came in, I didn't really see the whole picture. I just knew that when I is IT in healthcare, so everything IT and healthcare, <laughs> let's be doing it. Mm-hmm. So like you said, when you keep on going, it becomes clearer for you. Yeah, yeah. It becomes for you so when i started studying some companies and what they were doing i said oh which means i'm even my background is even kind of related to what they are mm-hmm. doing so i can build yeah. on that as well yeah. mm-hmm. so that's just it like even if i even if i want to do a what's it called uh like sales or marketing or business development i can as well do that yeah. so you you market their products and the likes do yeah. more do some sales research work blah 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 yeah yeah so there yeah. are many aspects you can actually specialize on. It's quite very vast, mm-hmm. so they can't cover everything at the same time. It's not left on you to but decide see the area. You, exactly, see the area you want to go, then build more on it, and uh, yeah, and uh, keep on growing. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Mm-hmm.